Nick Collodion. <laughs> Let's see. That's it. Ab. Today we'll meet the mud people. D. <laughs> and we'll voyage to see what's on the bottom. Ooh, broken hell looks okay. Oh, whatever that is. And we'll confuse animals. T, anyone? Okay, okay, let's see. Oh, 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 whoa. Oh, and we'll visit weird places. You? And I need a, uh, whoa, what's this? A spaceship. It's out of control. And now, here he is, the man who thinks Hawaii is how Norwegians say hello. The guy who owns 500 swimming suits, all the same color, our host. Dave Coulier? Ah! Diz, what is it, a monster, an alligator or something? No, you said the name and I scream. Well, Diz, that's my name. I mean, uh, that's how I start the show. I mean, the announcer starts the show. He says, and now here's our host, Dave Coulier. Ah! And Waldo puts that camera on me right there. Waldo, Waldo, Waldo! If I hear that name one more time, I'll scream again. Yeah, where is Waldo anyway? Okay, okay, where is he? He went on a vacation. He couldn't take it any longer either. And if I don't get a vacation very soon, I'm gonna scream and scream and scream and scream. Okay, okay. <laughs> Diz, where's the other camera? He took it on vacation with him. He took the camera on vacation with him? Well, he said it was looking kind of mm, pale. Well, hello, out of control. Hiya, Dave. If I hear that name one more time, I'm gonna scream! Here's Waldo, where are you? Well, I'm at the beach. Waldo, you took a camera with you. Well, cameras need sunshine just like anybody else. Well, that's great, Waldo, but now we're missing one camera. Having a wonderful time, Dave. Wish you were here. This is pretty good. You know, a lot of us want to take a vacation, but we don't always have the time. One way to take a vacation without actually going someplace is to eat out. And if you're going to eat out, you should go to someplace exotic. Boldly go where no man has gone before. Oh, shh. If you're going to go to someplace exotic, you should go where we went, to Morocco, for some genuine Moroccan food. Let's eat. Wow, isn't this place great? It's the Dharma Greb restaurant. They serve Moroccan food here. Now you're probably saying to yourself, hey, I've heard of Moroccan roll, but I've never heard of Moroccan food. The greatest thing about this place is you get to eat with your hands. May I wash your hands for dinner? Sure. Let's eat. Dirty, you know. Ah, maybe a little freshening up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Woo, wide awake. Okay. When's the food get here? All right. Can hardly wait. This is the first course. Uh, the Moroccan salad. All right. We have here carrots, eggplant, cucumbers, and tomato. And you're gonna eat this with bread. With bread. Take so a piece of bread. You tear it into bread? smaller pieces. I want to eat. eat. I want to eat. Okay. Use it as a scoop to pick up the vegetables. Scoop. Okay. Right. Mm, ooh, that's great. Okay. Is there some more? Oh, yeah, there's some more. There's more, more right? Yeah. Okay. This is the second course, the Bastilla. It's a pastry with powdered sugar, cinnamon, chicken, scrambled eggs, coriander, parsley, and it's hot. So be careful. Let okay. it cool and then eat it like a pastry. Okay. Enjoy. I'm not going to wait. Mmm. Very, very, very hot, 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 hot. This is your third course, the lemon oh. chicken. Enjoy. Okay. All right. Mmm. 
Mm, I like chugging. It's me even naked. I feel like it. Because I'm not even in Kentucky. I'm a darn my grab. Mm, I love chicken. Dun, 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 You're a bird. No, he's not. Yes, he is. I'm going to eat you. Dun, 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 dun. Next, shish kebab. More. And couscous. Still more. And fruits and nuts. Oh, I'd be nuts to eat this. Whoa. Whoa. And spearmint tea. That was your dinner. Oh, it was delicious, Pierre. But I think I belly dance way too much. But on behalf of Out of Control, I'd like to present to you this Wet's Eat Award for having the world's best Moroccan food. Oh, here's your trophy. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Diz, over here. I'm over here, Diz. That's it. Keep coming. Keep coming. Okay. Uh, we're back. Thanks, Diz. No, well. I'm starting to feel like I need a vacation, too. Oh, really? Hey, I hear Grace is very beautiful this time of year. Or how about even Hawaii? Some place with Tom Selleck and a beach would be very excellent. Not now, Diz. We're in the middle of a show. But they don't care if we go on a vacation, do you, gang? See? People like to watch other people having fun. Uh, Diz. See, I like to watch other people having fun, too, especially if I'm the people. Uh, Diz, the camera. I know, I know. Shh, shh. But it's very hard, gang, to watch yourself having fun unless you don't have a mirror. But who wants to bring a mirror to the beach? Diz, the camera. <gasps> oh, yikes, stripes. Uh, look, we're going to try and get things here back to some kind of control, and while we're doing that, why don't you check out this next story? And believe me, it's probably true. I guess so. Gee, I don't know. What do you think? Could be. Hmm, possibly. Maybe. Yeah, yeah it's, it's probably, probably true. true. On this beautiful block in fashionable Greenwich Village, Manhattan live the mud people. Oh, there they are. Say, are you the mud people? Well, yes, I'm Sandy, and this is my wife, Dusty. Say, are we on the 6 o'clock news? Oh, I hope I'm not a mess. Oh, you look fine, dear. You're covered in mud. You also have a filthy little son, don't you? Yes, our son Mudley is inside. He came home from school clean yesterday, so now he's grounded for a week. Oh, say, we've got to go. The store is having a sale and things are going dirt cheap. Ah, the mud people. Masters of muck merrily make their way through magnificent modern Manhattan. But what do they shop for? Look at this potting soil. Only a dollar fourteen. And look at this great mud sack. Hi, can I stand in your corner? Oh, sure. Yeah. Thanks a lot, buddy. What's for dinner tonight, spaghetti and dirt clogs? Mud pie. So, how do you travel? I know, the subway. It's underground. No. Right? We take the mudmobile. Ah, the mud people. From dusk to dusk, splashes to ashes. They live in mud. We live in dirt. We love mud. <laughs> <laughs> mud people? Ha! Mud spelled backwards is dumb. D U M. Ah! <laughs> hey, am I getting shorter or what? You see, folks, television is just like any other type of work, school, or a job downtown. You have to take a vacation once in a while. It's just a shame that 
some people have to take a vacation just when they're needed the most. I heard that. Well, good. Look, you're doing fine without me, Dave. Yeah, but what about me? And me! Yeah, what about us? When do we get a vacation? Well, just put the show on automatic pilot. It'll take care of itself. Just relax. Unwind. Come on down. The water's fine. The camera's getting a little bit of a sunburn, but other than that, you know, you really ought to put on your sunglasses. Well, Dave, I think we're going to take a little bit of a nap. You keep up the good work. I'll keep up the good play. <sighs> and where are you going? Oh, I've got time off coming, Dave. Didn't you read my letter? Yeah, I couldn't get past page three. Well, I like to write letters. And on page 32 here, I told you I was going on vacation. It's in my contract. Your contract? Yeah, pages 113 to 127. Well, you can't leave now. <laughs> oh, oh, Dave! Yikes, I'm really trying to work. Angela, can you give me a hand here oh, for a sure, second? Oh, sure, Dave. Oh. Are you here? Try and push this okay. back. Okay. One, two, two three. <laughs> see? You see what I'm up against? I, I need you. I need all the help I can get. Well, I can appreciate that, Dave, but it's my vacation. Yeah, but what about me? Oh, but please, Dave, please. I mean, I've worked so hard. I really deserve it. Oh, all right, go on. Before I change my mind, well, go on. thanks. I'll send you postcards. Yeah, yeah, go on. Have fun. Lofty! What about me? Yes, we can't all take vacations. I mean, if we all took vacations, we wouldn't have a show. But I want to go someplace, do something, see the world, get a tan, get some color on my skin. I want to see something I've never seen before. Have you ever seen a backyard carnival? No. Have you ever seen a backyard carnival? I already said no. I wasn't talking to you, Diz. I was talking to all of our viewers at home. It's been a long time since I've been to a backyard carnival. All I ever get to see is this studio and this camera and, the, well, enough of my problems. This next story is going to give you all the tips you need to know on throwing your own backyard carnival. How to do things. Have you ever wanted the excitement of a carnival in your own backyard? It's easy. Just follow these simple steps. Step number one, have lots of games. A balloon shaving booth is always a good game to have at your carnival. It will give everyone in the neighborhood a big bang and make you really popular. Another great game is the ball toss. This is an easy game to set up, and it's great fun for everyone to play. Uh-oh, but what's this? It looks like someone was trying to cheat. Do not do this. It will make you very unpopular. What's this? What's the ball? Oh, what the ball? Step two. Make sure you have plenty of food. There are a few basic foods that are traditional at carnival. Almost everyone loves corn dogs. You can never go wrong with ice cream and some lemonade. Almost everybody is curious about their future. So a person who reads poems, no, not a palm tree. It's the person's palm that is supposed to be read. Step three, have exotic animals. Exotic animals can turn an ordinary carnival into a special event. Animals like an elephant, an alligator, and a moose. Yes, by following these simple steps, people will flock to your backyard carnival, and you'll be more popular than you ever dreamed. Wait a minute! This wasn't my idea! 
<laughs> Out of Control will be back in your face after these messages. Mook is sure helping me develop. When I went to my first dance, I felt like a little girl. The guys ignored me. But then, for the next few years, I was eating right and drinking milk for beautiful hair and a super smile. And pretty soon, milk had made a difference. Hey, Jill, want to dance? Let's see that again. Hey, Jill, want to dance? And now the only problem is choosing which date. Milk, it does a body good. Kraft Macaroni and Cheese introduces Teddy Bears and Dynamax. It's prehistoric Oni. In a world gone dynamax. Now it's total bear bop Oni. Hit the disc with Dennis at Tony. It's new Kraft Teddy Bears and Dynamax. They're more fun than a bowl full of monkeys. Monkeys? It's a cheese Or a surfer boy bear Oni. Oni. Tickle your funny bony. It's new Kraft Teddy Bears and Dynamax. Get ready to order the amazing new String Racer. String Racer is easy enough for a five-year-old, yet challenges even adults. Just tie up one end of the string, raise your arm to send String Racer zooming down. Lower your arm to send it racing back. Snatch targets, rescue superheroes, and dive bomb the enemy. Get your String Racer for $9.95 plus $3 shipping by calling 1-800-233-3600. Have your credit card ready and call now. 1-800-233-3600. You must be 16 to order. No CODs. You're watching Nickelodeon, and now back to Out of Control. You know, it's no fun to be stuck here alone in the studio. I wonder how those guys are doing on their vacation. Hey, Waldo, I'm writing a postcard to the gang at Out of Control. Do you want to say anything? I'll just ask them how they're doing. Okay. How are you doing? Yeah. Love. Oh, be a love and mail this, won't you? How are you doing? Love scoop. Lucky! We're doing terrible! <laughs> yes? Oh, oh. We're back? Oh, we're back. Camera two, look, stay where you are. Don't go anywhere, okay? Just, that's good. You know, a lot of you have part-time jobs or summer jobs or even jobs that you have to do around the house. Will you quit talking about work? Yes. Well, you can't always take a vacation from your job or even your household chores, but you can make the household chores go a little faster. I got a letter here from, yeah, Sonny Johnson in Louisiana. And Sonny loves to play, but he hates to work in the yard. Well, Sonny... This hurry up is for you. Looks like you need to hurry up. And now, here to show you something that you've never seen on television before is our very own ace reporter, Hearn Burford. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Hi, Dave. Uh, Hearn, why are you dressed like that? Well, I'm getting ready to do my next story. And you're gonna love it, Dave. It's a great story. <laughs> and let me guess, your next story is at the beach, right? Pretty smart, Dave. I guess that's why you're the host of the show. And why you make the big bucks. Well. Anyways, I gotta go or I'm gonna miss the big waves. Uh, I mean, the big story. <laughs> See you later, Dave. Yeah, I'll give you a big wave, Hearn. You know, if I was smart, I'd be at the beach. Well, here's Hearn with our next feature, and it's alive.
I know a lot of you watch TV. You must, or you wouldn't be paying attention to me now. And I know when you watch, you see specials and documentaries on life in the ocean, sea creatures. I like to call them fish. Well, you don't have to be any Jacks to stow to, to enjoy the wonders of the deep. Why, look at the ocean here. All you need is water and lots of it. Come on, come on, let's take a look. Come on, let's go. Let's go out here and take a, take a quick look here. And... Okay. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we're gonna take a quick look, hold on. Something's fishy about this story. Whoa. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, I wonder if I can teach him to sing. They can already dance. I bet you people pay a lot of money to see these girls. Hey, I wonder how they keep their makeup on down here. I wonder after a while they become all white and pruney. Whoa! In there, that's too scary. Whoa! Gee, I wonder what he was afraid of. Hey, Hearn, that story was fishful thinking. <laughs> Come on, Diz, you can't leave now. You can just take it up with the comedy computer, Buster. But the comedy computer's gone too. Mm. Hello, out of control. Ah, this is the light. Please, Diz, don't go. I'll, I'll let you do your story. I'll do my story on the beach, thank you. Hm. Please, Diz, don't go. Come on, don't leave. Well, Dave, why don't you come with me? Please come with me. Have some fun for a change. But the show is fun. Not when everyone else is on vacation. So farewell and goodbye, Dave. Parting is such, etc., etc., etc. Diz, don't go. Come on, please. Wait, Diz. <sighs> Well, it's been a fun show so far. A real challenge, you know? Oh, darn. <laughs> I mean, to do a good show, you have to lay down on a sandy beach. I mean, I mean, oh, what the heck. Diz, take it away, will ya? <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a tide, many, many waves ago, there lived a little mermaid named Serpentina who did nothing all day but float around the house and watch Jaws 3D on her underwater VCR. One day, her father, who was a real crab, not a jellyfish, came in and started yelling at her. What are you going to do with the rest of your life? What, are you going to be a beach bum all your life? If you don't smarten up, young lady, Jacques Cousteau is going to get a hold of you, believe you me. Why can't you be like your brother the octopus and join the army? Or become a famous actor and become a famous starfish? Or why don't you start going to school? Oh, school for fish, father. Besides, I want to become a famous surfer. Oh, brother, what will the neighbor say? Honey, get me a drink. So that night, she decided to run away from home. And when she surfaced uh, above in the blue lagoon, son of a gun, there's Christopher Atkins and Brooke Shields, who taught how to surf. And she became an excellent surfer. And when she popped up above the water, she turned into a very beautiful girl with a lot of makeup, even on the beach, and 10 terrific, beautiful nails. And she was a splash with all the boys. Then she did become an excellent surfer. And then, wait a minute, hello, there's a famous Hollywood producer who said, I'm going to put you in all my movies. And she was in E.T. Bikini, Ghost Bikini, and Indianapolis Jones and the Bikini of Doom. Oh, but then, gang, as they say, the tide turned, and things started going bad for poor little Serpentina. She started drinking like a fish. Oh, she was washed up all right. Oh, the poor little kid. I mean, she was like a fish out of water. She sank so low. How low did she sink? She sank so low that she almost threw herself in at the fish and chip place around the corner. But wait a minute, hello. She realized that she missed her mother and father so bad, so she clicked her fins together three times and thought to herself, there's there's no place like darkest. There's no place like darkest. There's no place like darkest. Sorry, Charlie. There are so many things to do at the beach. 
build a sand castle, go beachcombing, or collect shellfish. Hey, let go. It's mine. Uh, get out of here. It's mine. Now, boys, don't be shellfish. Personally, I love going to the ocean, but I always wind up with a sandy bottom. <laughs> Well, that's our show for today. It was a lot of work. But I'm sure you'll agree it was well worth it, right? Well, come on, Dave. Join the fun. The sun isn't going to stay out forever. OK, gang. OK, Yay! Waldo. Well, if you can't feed them, join them, right? Boy, you sure can get places fast through the miracle of television. Well, this is the life, huh, gang? Well, that's our show for this week. Join us for our next show where we get a sunburn by sitting too close to the microwave, and then we use a giant pelican to scoop, scoop out of a swimming pool. So see you next time. Hey, let's hit the beach, gang. This show should take a permanent vacation. Ha ha ha